to customize the pages on your website. So let's click on done and save here at the top left. And then this will take us back to the overview editor here where we can see the left side menu. So here we want to click on pages at the top and this will open up the pages menu. So as you can see here, these are the main navigation pages that we currently have on the page. So we have the about page, the initiatives page and the contact us page, which is also visible here at the top menu. This here is the main navigation menu. And then we have a couple of pages which are not linked, which is the home page. People can, people can just click on the logo to get back to the home page and the take action page which uh, is not visible here at the top menu. Now, when we want to add a new page, all we got to do is just click on the plus icon here and then uh, decide on what kind of page we want to add. So we can just click on the blank page option, which will just add a new blank page. So let's say this page, we're going to name our team, enter, and then it will directly take us to the new page, which is empty because we have chosen a blank page. When we click on the edit button here, we can now start adding content. So first we have to add a section. This is the same thing we've already seen. We can add a blank section or we can add a pre-made section. So for the our team page, we're probably going to use maybe uh, this template here. And then we have this on the page to change this. Again, we just click on edit section here, edit content, and then we can change the images. We can change the text, whatever you want to change here. So um, let's click on done and save. And now we have the our team page. And because you have added it directly into the main navigation, it's already visible here at the top on our main navigation menu. If you want it to uh, be here at the end of this menu, what we got to do is just take this and just drag this here to the end and then it will be here at the end. So very easy, very straightforward. Now, if you don't want the our team page to be in the main navigation menu, you can just take it and then drag it down to the not linked menu here, which will make this page disappear here at the top and will it will be here under not linked. Now let's just drag this up again to just put it back in the menu. What we can also do is uh, disable pages. So when we click on the gear icon here, we can click on the, we can just toggle the enable page off and this will disable the page. This makes sense if you're still working on a page and you don't want to pe want people to see it yet. You can just disable the page, click on save here, and then people will not be able to see it. As you can see, they will not be able to access it. Um, so the difference here is that if you have the page enabled and it will be here under the not linked option, people can still go to that page. Maybe you have a button that leads to this page. And um, but if you have it disabled, then there's no way people can actually access this page. Great. So now you know exactly how to add, remove and edit new pages on your website. Now let's